this is the reason why we like to use these 3D transfers, because they are really, really subtle, but they change, they can change the look and the texture of the skin very, very easily. We do need to pass the baton to keep this going and to keep, keep the love we have for movies and monsters going. But it has to be to people that respect this industry, that love this industry, and want to make the coolest, most badass monsters ever seen on film. And utilize all forms of technology, be it practical, be it digital, and who knows what is ahead in the future. But that's what I'm really looking forward to, is seeing what's, what's on the horizon next. I was working on this movie called Kill Bill, and. Uma Thurman, during this big fight sequence in the House of Blue Leaves, gets covered in blood. And the first day, they put, you know, fake movie blood on her, and she was sticky and gross all day. And I could just see she was miserable. And I'm like, there's got to be a way around this. So I went ahead and I took my tattoo palette, and I, I said, let me go ahead and, and do the tattoo color, okay? So I went ahead and I ended up doing her makeup in tattoo colors. And then even on her clothing, I went ahead and I painted her costume with acrylic paints and tattoo paints and then took an iron and ironed the color in so it set inside of the material. And it maintained the whole shoot. I never put a drop of blood on Uma. And she was just always had uh, tattoo continuity blood on her and all over her clothing. Like, I'm just gonna paint it all with tattoo colors and acrylic paints. And it worked out perfect. So part of, you know, handling things, you wanna take a look at the growth direction of brows and mustaches, you know. That's why I always start in the back and work up. I've seen people start here and go back. I always start in the, you know, where the brow would end here by the corner of this eye, and then hand lay, hand lay, hand lay. You can, you know, lay in. I like this really washy, stainy blood stuff. This look here, I think, feels really nice. And again, one, what I was talking about is people that put too much blood, and I'll just do it as an example. Like you have this beautiful piece there. You don't want to take a glob of the gel blood and just like do this, you know? And I literally have seen people do that and you're like, well, why did I even put a piece down, you know? So you never ever want to do that. You want to have, show off your piece.